Okay guys, so remember about the previous video that I have for you regarding scroll airdrop? That time guys, it was under the scroll alpha testnet. But now that the alpha phase is over, we are now moving on to the phase 4 which is the scroll sepolia testnet. How do we qualify and maximize our chances in getting a potential scroll airdrop by doing retroactive interactions right here in the Scroll Sepolia testnet. For you to know more about the answers, I suggest that you should stay tuned until the end of this video. So this is your truly Nomad Fury. Well, let's get on to it. So before we begin, I would like to let you all know that I am not promoting any financial or investment advice as this is just only for educational and informative purposes. And what you see right here at the end of this video, all the transactions are just under the testnet. So there's no real money involved in doing uh, this uh, testnet activity. Wow. So um, let's continue. So what you see right here, um, this is the official account of scrollnx.com. So, and I quote, We are entering the beta phase of our journey with the launch of our Sepolia testnet, the final stage before mainnet. The improvement for this release falls into three categories such as ZKEVM upgrades, bridge upgrades and infrastructure upgrades and uh you just have to read the entire uh, thread here guys okay so let's start right here guys so um you could see right here um this is the official website of scroll and um you could see you know um there are roadmap so we are now in the phase four which is a sepolia test net and after that it is the zk evm minute in which this is something that we have been waiting for so to begin guys let's click use testnet so make sure that your metamask is already installed in your browser if you don't have both ethereum sepolia and scroll sepolia so it's very easy for you to add them in your metamask by just uh, clicking them both and after that, you can test the following right here, okay? Before we head over to the bridge, guys, we need to have some amount in Ethereum Sepolia. So where could we get that? So it's just right here in sepoliafaucet.com powered by Alchemy. So all you have to do, guys, is to sign up an account on Alchemy and then go to sepoliafaucet.com and then you just have to enter your wallet address and then click this checkbox, I'm not a robot. Complete the verification and then it will send you some 0.5 Sepolia F. And take note guys, you can use the faucet once every 24 hours. Now, assuming that you already have some Sepolia F, it's time for us to bridge our funds to scroll Sepolia. Now, if we go right here guys, let's do the bridge. So I am going to click this one. So this is the one guys for the scroll bridge. So right now it's focusing on Sepolia. Now, um, you can see right here, I already have some balance here on Scroll Sepolia. So I don't need to explain how the bridging works. Since I've already shown it to you guys in my previous video about the Scroll airdrop. And the question is, how long can we wait for the bridge to be completed? So in my experience, guys, approximately maybe around 10 minutes. Or it depends on the network congestion. So that is just the average. Now, assuming that you already have some scroll sepolia, it's time for us to interact in their ecosystem before the mainnet is going to launch. Now, the first dab that we can interact is no other than the Uniswap. So, this is Uniswap. So, um, you can interact it right here under scroll sepolia. Now, make sure that you connect your MetaMask and then switch to scroll sepolia. And then, you just have to start interacting. So I don't need to explain anymore how to swap right here because it's very easy. But as of today, guys, um, we only have Ethereum, Wrap Ethereum, and GHO. And the same thing goes, guys, if we add and remove our liquidity. So we go right here in the pool. So I also don't need to explain how this works, okay? 
just for you to have a clue well you can watch my previous videos about our retroactive drops you know when it comes to adding and removing liquidity okay now what are the other dApps that we could interact so there's what they call the scroll ecosystem okay so um there are lots of them that are supporting the scroll sepolia so if you want to interact on these platforms under scroll sepolia so um you could do so right here there are many dApps for you to choose from supports the scroll sepolia so let's say you want to interact with them make sure that you connect your metamask and then switch to scroll sepolia okay at least i am just uh, giving you an idea you know on how do we uh, maximize our um, interactions here on scroll sepolia by just using uh, these dApps listed here in the scroll ecosystem and of course guys i have seen you know for most of the x threaders out there that when it comes to the scroll sepolia they're only featuring about the ecosystem the uniswap and the bridge and then you're going to say okay bridge as much as you can interact on this ecosystem as much as you can i think there is one dub that was not really featured at all in which it supports scroll sepolia it's a game by the way and it's no other than the omni kingdoms in my last video about scroll i did share to you about omni kingdoms but for their latest update it has a brand new interface and features okay so for instance um i will change my uh, network so i switch to scroll sepolia and then it says switch network you see i already have my character but in case that this is your first time in playing this game so all you have to do is to click this one new character and then you just have to select any class that you want you know from like a warrior mage and assassin so there are three classes for both male and female and then you just have to enter your username and then create your character since i already have my own character i just show you how to play this game so let's click play now this is my stat right now i'm on level one and of course since i've already done some few battles so i'm qualified to level up so um i'm going to click on this one guys and then select a status to improve so um you can see right here guys i'm going to hover my mouse this is life mana agility strength magic and defense so as a warrior myself well um i think i need to improve my attack first okay so i'm going to click strength and then i just click level up and then my meta mask will pop up like this so um you can see that i need to pay the gas fee in the scroll sepolia test net for me to level up so i confirm and then we just have to wait until the transaction is completed in the blockchain a few moments later okay so it says uh, success all right so the transaction is confirmed now that i have level up from one to two and um you can see the other stats right here guys um this one is the gold and this is the gem for every action that you are going to do whether you're going to train to craft to shop to quest to arena and to dungeon you will be interacting in the scroll sepolia tested by just simply paying a gas fee now let's go to the dungeons guys for us to begin the dungeon quest just click on the dragon logo and uh you can see um some of your opponents the goblin the dire wolf the costa ape the giant bat and the serpent um since i am still on a low level so i start first with the goblin you can see right here this is the health of the goblin and the damage the cooldown is 120 seconds meaning to say you can battle the goblin every two minutes and for the rewards guys it's about experience now if we begin the battle so once again my meta mask pops up and then we click confirm so uh, we wait so um you can see right here there is a timer all right now let's see what happens after the timer expires one eternity later okay so time's up it means that the battle is already finished so let's say i'm going to close this one and then you can see right here my life has reduced one because of the battle but i have gained experience now uh, if we go back here guys since our life has reduced to one this is where the training goes so i go to training 
And then I'm going to click this, the live training. The reward is 1 HP. Train to recover health. So I begin my training. And it only takes 20 seconds, guys. So let's begin the training. Once again, we pay the gas. And then I confirm. Right now, um, there's a countdown timer in which the training to recover health begins. So um, it's very fast. So once the timer expires, well, um, the end train button will be enabled. And yes, here it is right now. So I end my training to recover the health. And once again, pay the gas fee. So I confirm. And then um, we just have to wait. But we can also speed it up if we wanted to, okay? Okay, so it says my life is now full. So it's really easy. Not only that you're having fun in playing Omni Kingdoms, but you are maximizing your interaction in the Scroll Sepolia Testnet in preparation for the much anticipated Scroll Mainnet. So as what I have seen in uh, various threaders and x.com, um, they have seen Scroll as one of the much anticipated retroactive drops you know um there are no guarantees or promises on when will it actually happen or if they're going to do an airdrop we just have to be ready for the uh, unexpected or maybe we would get surprised later on because guys some um, retroactive drops are a thing today you know i'm um, starting off um with some uh, DeFi platforms you know in the past especially some layer ones and layers twos out there that are recently doing a retroactive drop to their participants there's always a possibility, even though that there are no promises or guarantee. Especially when it comes to Scroll. As X.com threaders are heavily promoting Scroll as one of the much anticipated retroactive drops anytime soon. Especially that their ZK EVM mainnet goes live after the Scroll Sepolia testnet phase. So uh, let's look forward to it. So there you have it guys, at least I have shared to you regarding the scroll sepolia testnet especially on interacting in these platforms that supports the scroll sepolia testnet for you to have better chances in getting a potential scroll airdrop in the future so if you want more details i have provided all of the resource links right here on the video description so i would really appreciate some honest feedback from you guys uh regarding uh, this video that i have made for you today whether if it's positive or negative or if you have some questions or clarifications that were not covered right here in this video i would try my best to answer them for you or you can just head over to the official social media channels of scroll and get in touch with the real admins and mods to potentially answer your queries and if you think that this video is quite helpful and valuable to you and you do not hesitate or think twice in sharing this to your friends out there, especially those who are so enthusiastic regarding potential and confirmed retroactive drops, testnets, DeFi, tutorials and guides, and everything related to crypto and Web3. So I do have a question for you. Did you enjoy watching this video? Has this video helped you a lot and gives value in any way? And what do you think about it? Just let me know right here in the comment section. So once again, this is Nomad Fury and I'll see you all on my next video.